Recently we've looked at quite a few network radios on the channel and I enjoy picking up the latest, most unusual products that are filling the PTT over cellular or POC market at the moment. We've looked at Android devices that use Zello and smartphones that use PTT apps as well as UHF two-way radio for those wanting some versatility. However, in today's video I'll be showing you the Eniseku G6, a really solid and rugged device that you could use for anything from hiking and camping to car to car comms, site communications or even fleet management. Nobody seems to have done a proper video on these devices and the stores that you buy them from such as AliExpress have nothing in the way of instructions, real demonstrations or aftercare. I got my radios and accompanying accounts from Eniseku and they've been really helpful. So how do they work? You simply put a SIM card in, program the device to use a specific real PTT account on your laptop or PC and away you go. They use 4G to communicate with each other over the cellular networks via an app called Real PTT. The software allows users to be put into groups and also talk to each other one to one. The radios are solid metal with the exception of the battery cover. They're weighty, have a simple to use interface and a small display, perfect in my opinion for all of the uses I listed earlier. They have a ruggedized military look to them, one that's clearly been the influence of other devices. On the left is the main PTT, menu button and power button which is also used for going back in any menu. On the top is the secondary PTT and the volume and navigation knob. There's also an LED indicator around the SMA 4G antenna socket. On the right hand side is the USB-C socket which is for charging and very simple programming as well as one SIM card slot. On the front is a large speaker and small LCD display. The battery screws into place on the back and in the box you get the radio, antenna, battery, wrist strap and a belt clip with screws. You also get a mains USB plug and charging cable which is used for programming. Programming is very simple, all I had to do was install the software and drivers from the Eniseku website, plug the radio in, open the software package and enter my real PTT account details. This software is configured for real PTT and support is available through both real PTT and Eniseku who kindly set my accounts up for me. Once you've configured the software, you write to the radio and then it'll automatically reboot. Once the radio comes back on, it'll log in to Real PTT with the details you programmed in. There are settings that can be changed from the front face of the radio too. In the main settings menu, you can turn transmit on and off, set the time zone, set the backlight time, Enable auto selection or manual selection of the network. Set the beep volume. The PTT tone. The sound quality. Silent or loud profiles. And mic gain. The radios will record, store and playback transmissions, receive messages from a real PTT dispatcher, you can view your account information, select your group, or select individual members within a group. This allows you to speak on different channels to different people. The power button when pressed once also allows you to select a member within a group. The radio doesn't have dual PTT functionality despite having two PTTs. Pressing either one for a couple of seconds activates one and deactivates the other. So let's look at the pros and cons of a device like this. 
The pros are, they work pretty much worldwide. They'll cover thousands of miles without the need for a repeater. You can have as many users and groups as you like. They don't use much data. 12 to 45 kilobytes per second are the sorts of numbers I've read about, but that depends on the connection and the quality of the audio you set up. They're small, very durable with that metal case, and they're very easy to use in a work setting such as a vehicle fleet where people may not know how to use them. All the user needs to do is switch the radio on. They have good sound quality and a loud speaker, and there's no interference or poor signal because as long as they're receiving a cellular signal, they'll work effortlessly. Okay, this is a test of the Anisaku G6, using a SIM card over the mobile networks. Testing 12345-54321. This is a test of the Anisaku G6. The radio I'm talking on is actually on the 3 network at the moment on 4G. So it's using the 3 network on 4G from downstairs in the house. As for the cons, well, they're restricted to a network, but so is a mobile phone. A GPS fleet tracker requires a GPS signal, so it's not always a con depending on who's using these devices. Some might say they're not real amateur radio, and that's true, but they're not trying to be, and it's not something you can call random people on from the top of a hill. They also don't work on Wi-Fi, so you need a SIM card. I just got two prepaid SIMs which I can swap out into other devices as and when I need to. As a tool, I think it has great potential, and for private, long-range voice comms, they're great. If you'd like to find out more, then I'll link them in the description below, along with a playlist that'll take you to my other network radio and PTT over cellular videos. Thank you.